Hi guys, my name is Chris and I am the beekeeper here at Zoo Atlanta. So today we're going to take a look at the anatomy of a beehive. Um, so you may have seen one of these before. This is what's called a hive. Um, and then on the inside, um, the bees themselves, we call that the colony. So the hive is like the structure they live in and the colony is the bees themselves. Um, so the hive here is made of a series of boxes. We call these supers. So these two bigger ones, these are deep supers. And then the one on top here is a medium super. Um, so we'll take a look inside now. So I'm just going to let them know we're coming in here with a little bit of smoke. And we'll go ahead and pop the lid. So inside each super is eight frames. So we're going to take one out and look and see what we have here. So this is probably everybody's favorite part of a beehive. So this is honey right here. Um, this is honey that's ready to be harvested or used by the bees. And you can see it's capped. When it's capped, that means they're done processing it. Um, and it has the right water content. But I want to take a little bit deeper look inside the hive here. So I'm going to get one more down. So this right here is what we call the brood nest. So you can see there's an arc of different caps on these on the uh, cells. So these more flat cells here that are just a little bumpy, uh, that's worker brood. So this is what most of your hives should consist of. Um, these are um, eggs that have hatched into larvae and now they're going through metamorphosis and they're gonna come out as uh, bees. So they'll be worker bees. And then up here at the top, we have some more honey um, that we'll use to feed. And then if you look very at the very bottom here, you'll see some uh, more bumpy cells. Those are drones. So those are male bees. Um, that are genetic clones of the queen. So they come from an unfertilized egg. So one of the things that you want to look for when you're looking inside a hive is your queen or a sign that your queen is there and doing her job. Um, the best sign of seeing a queen doing her job if you can't find her is to see eggs. Eggs hatch within a couple of days. So if you see those, you know you had a queen um, not too long ago. So this is another brood nest. So as uh, these worker bees develop, it takes 21 days to go from egg to full grown bee. Um, so these are good along. We're gonna have a good number of bees come out in just a few days here. Um, you can also tell the different types of bees here. This is a drone bee. He looks a little bit different than all the little worker bees there. And so you can find them pretty easily. So as you can see, it gets a little crowded in here. There are a lot of bees. At the busy time of year, you could have 50 to 100,000 bees in a good hive. So in these cells, if you look closely, you might see some yellow uh, chalky stuff at the bottom. That's pollen. So bees travel to different plants and collect the pollen and bring that back as protein. So everything looks good in here. So I'm gonna go ahead and close it up. Thank you guys for joining me on the deep dive inside the hive today. Mm -hmm.